Hey guys, it's May May, and today's trusty sidekick is Shannon. Oh, Shannon's here. <laughs> so, in my home tour, you guys saw my chalk couture um, buffalo check wreath wall hanging that had the cutest bow on it, and everybody wanted to see Shannon make her bow. So, today she's going to make a bow for you. Here's her supplies she's going to be using two chenille stems, and she's going to be using two and a half inch wide ribbon and scissors. Now she's going to do her best to talk through. She's never done that before, so we're going to let her try to do it. And I just wanted to remind you that Wreathology Supplies, which this is a Wreathology Supply, is 15% off in store. We'll have a link for that for y'all below. So I'm going to let Shannon take over. All right. Hey, y'all. This is Shannon. And this is the bow I'm going to be showing y'all how to make. And it is super simple. So we have some chenille stems and then just our ribbon. And you can make this with any size. This is the two and a half inch, but I just make my loop however big you want it. And then do the same thing on the other side. And when you get to the next one, you just mimic the same size. And do it on both sides. Then when you have your two loops, you can just kind of gather it together in the middle. Then use your chenille stem, wrap it around to the back, and then get it tight. And then you can twist it over so you can see. And then I just tighten it down on that and don't cut it yet. All right, after you twist your chenille stem down, then you take your tail and you will take it back over and go around the middle. Once you cover your middle, you can make it pretty when you're done. Take it back again to the back. And lay it across your stems. And then use it to twist over. I like to, you can twist it back around to make your tail on one side. And then kind of measure the same length for your other side tail. Gather it up, and then I untwist and put it in with that one, and tighten it all down, and you can flip it over, and fluff your middle, and separate your loops, and you can pull your tails down, go on and dovetail. And there you go. That's how easy it is, guys. Super easy. So since you showed them, I want to try to make one and see if I can talk through it. Okay, I've never made this bow before, but I just watched Shannon show you guys. I thought I would give it a go. So here is my ribbon. I, as always, drop this in the floor. It gets on my nerves, so I just get it out of the way. Okay, you're going to make a loop, your first loop. This is where you determine your size. Okay, that half is going to determine it, believe it or not, because you're going to mimic that on the other side. So if you wanted to measure it, like if you wanted a four inch loop, you could just measure it and see. Mine's a little, I think that's a little big. So I'm, we're going to leave it there, about four inches. Then you're going to take the back and you're just going to bring it to the middle. And this is where you're going to decide, are my loops the same? This is the first one you're going to decide. Okay, once you have that, then you're just going to mimic. And <laughs> you can correct me, Shannon's sitting here and I'm teaching her technique. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. You can. Because mm -hmm, I'm using this wide ribbon. And then I'm going to make a second um, set of loops exactly like my first, which is really cool. It's easy to um, easy to match that up. And then I'm going to make another one here at the bottom. So that is the basic shape of the loops. Okay. So you can see we have two loops side by side. It's actually four loops. You got two up here and two down here. Now you do the scrunch. So I'm just going to scrunch in the middle. Did I do the scrunch right? You're doing it. Okay. I'm scrunching the middle. You can have more than four loops, by the way. We did some that had more than four loops. A thinner ribbon works really good with more than four. And this is chenille stem time. So take my chenille stem. I'm trying to do it from memory. I don't want you to help me. Now, I have watched you make a lot of these because yes. she's made a bunch. All right. So to the back, and we're going to twist that in the back just like so. Now... She did something earlier that she showed you. I'm going to do the tails different because I like your other technique for tails, yeah. and I'll show y'all. All right, so when you get to the back, this piece, if you're using a single-sided ribbon like I am, is going to be 
correct for you. You're not going to have to twist it or anything. You're just going to turn it out and then wrap it around. You won't have to do anything. And this mimics that pretty knot, like you've act, like you actually tied the bow. Isn't that cool? And what she was saying to you is you can make it pretty later. You can come back in and do all this fluffing. All right. On the back, you want to open your chenille stem and you want to send this through. It's so easy, Shannon. I know. You really did a good job. You oh, did you. this. This is your creation. Well, it was on the fly. She, she wanted her bow to look that way, so she did it. All right, so I'm going to twist my chenille stem over that. I'm not going to stress too much. I'm just going to do a couple twists because I am going to use this again in just a second. Now, this is where I'm going to take a variation, and it's not really a variation. It's Shannon's technique as well, but I like this technique. So I'm going to cut this away um, pretty close. I don't really want to see it. On the other side, let's do it this way. I don't want to see it, so I'm going to cut this ribbon away. Again, this is not a variation from Shannon's technique. This is actually something she I've has done. done. Yeah, and I think this is, I think for me it would work better. All right, so there's my bow. Not nearly as pretty as yours. <laughs> not nearly. And she does a lot of fluffing, which is really pretty. She does a lot of this. Okay, now for tails. Here's how I'm going to get my tails. So I'm going to cut myself a piece that is the length I want my tails to be. So something like that, y'all. And this this bow is something like, I mean, there's no measurement. No. You make it something like the size you need. I did nine of them for our stockings yeah. here. <laughs> no measuring. Somewhere in the middle I scrunched, okay? I'm gonna come back to here and I'm gonna lay this with the pattern facing my bow, okay? And I'm just gonna twist this in. This is the way I like the way she did her tails. So I'm just gonna put this in and tighten this down just like so. All right, now remember, we're using wired ribbon so I can then turn it out. Look at that bow, y'all. And this is my first time to do one. I've never made your style bow before, but you know what? You're a great job. I'm a liking it. It's easy. And then I'm dovetailing. I like easy. It is easy. And the first time she made a bow for me, she did it on our um, subscriber trees in the shop. And I was like, oh, that is a different bow. I really liked it. And so she made them for all of our stockings. We had what, 12 or 15? Yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> she made bows for the stocking. And this is what she meant by then you can come back and make it pretty. Look how cute. Now I'm gonna tell you something. You can make bows for your packages like this. Yes. This would be adorable you on can make packages. Hair bows like that. Hair honestly. bows, you could. So I'll show you Shannon's and my attempt. My tails are too long. It's they need to be about right there. But there you go. So I wanted to show y'all. I cannot tell you, Shannon, you don't know this, but on the home tour. Every other comment was, looking. we want to see Shannon's bow. <laughs> so now... I went first to comments, and I saw, we want to see Shannon's bow, so I had to go back and finish watching all of the tours. So see. then you had to practice so you could be ready? Well, I just practiced today. There you go. I think she did a great job. I think you guys will love this bow, so you know the deal. If you make a bow like this, we want to see it. Head to our website at maymaymadeit.com and share your pictures on our customer gallery. We love your inspiration. And if you're looking for inspiration, there's over 2,000 projects posted there for you guys to get inspiration from. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And from me and Shannon. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.